GSB, the official banking partner of the CSGN, the only bank you'll ever need. Visit mygsb.bank for more information. It's moving day at the 89th Connecticut Open, presented by GSB. And after 18 holes today, the field will be cut down in order to decide a winner tomorrow afternoon. In the morning, Casey Pine drifted towards the leaderboard, and after an even front nine, Pine would find birdies on 10, 16, and 18 to finish his day's two score of eight under. In other action, the same group saw Brett Stegmeyer, who had this long putt to get birdie on 14, and David Pastor, who shot a 66 five under on the first day. Stegmeyer would have a solid back nine and finish tied with Pine at eight under. Pastor, on the other hand, would hit a streak of birdies with this one on 14 and finishes this one up on the par 3 15th hole. Pastor had a birdie look on 18, but will have to end his solid day with a par. Just, you know, keep doing the same. You know, I feel comfortable with my game plan for the course. Um, you know, I don't want to change anything or play differently. Uh, I was in this position in this tournament a couple of years ago and, you know, kind of, I still need to play well tomorrow, you know, to do what I want to do, so. To the afternoon where two-time defending champ Peter Ballow, he came into the second day as the co-leader with a first day six under. A two-hour weather delay would try to put a damper on Ballow's second round, but he finished strong. I put myself in a good spot, obviously, going into tomorrow. Uh, I'm just kind of going to stick to the game plan. Uh, hopefully I can hit my driver like I did after the rain delay. Blake Morris also was tied for the lead coming into the day but couldn't finish his second round. He currently sits in third place through 15 and has to finish his second round tomorrow morning. 2020 winner Max Theodorakis was also in the mix at the top of the leaderboard. This birdie on 12 was a part of his successful day as he finished four shots out of the lead, tied for sixth place.